Hello, sweet team. Welcome back to my channel. This is Sweet Ajele and I am back with another Throwback Thursday. That mozzarella cheese recipe that I took down and so many of you were mad at me for, well, it is back and I hope you would enjoy it. Let's get started. So all you need is some whole milk and vinegar. Next, we'll pour half of the milk into our pot and heat it up until it it is at 120 degrees Fahrenheit or until our finger can no longer tolerate how hot it is. Then we'll turn the heat off and add in our vinegar. Give it a quick stir and cover it up immediately to trap that nice warmth that is in our milk. Then we'll let it sit for about two to four minutes and this is what we get, a nice soft curd all right so we're going to scoop it right out of the way and we're gonna begin turning it now I lost this part of my um, video in the original footage so right before editing I had to do damage control and quickly make this part of the video so you're gonna see two different color nail polish don't panic it's still sweet or jelly <laughs> I just didn't want to make the whole video over again. So as you turn, you can see your cheese forming right before your eyes and it is just nice and beautiful. And at this point, you want to turn the heat back on and in to warm up your way, but keep it on a very, very low setting. Okay, then I flavor up my way to get some taste into this cheese because at this point it tastes like nothing. So you're going to rest your cheese back in the whey liquid and then you will turn it to incorporate the flavor of the salt that you just added to the liquid until your nice cheese is formed and is nice and flavorful. Okay, now. As you can see, the stretchiness is coming, so we're gonna put it in. Just look at that, gorgeous, to make sure that we have enough stretchiness to it. Also, you don't want to overwork this because if you do that, your cheese is going to become tough, making it impossible to melt, okay? And we don't want that. So at this point, our cheese is done. And you can serve it just like this at room temperature. It tastes so good with some nice tomatoes and pesto sauce. Mm, mm, mm. So, so good. But in my original footage, I also show you all how to shape it into a nice ball. So when you rest it back into your whey liquid, you will then pick it up because the liquid is nice and warm and you will press and tuck it into itself. So press and tuck, press and tuck until you've formed a beautiful ball just like this if this makes any sense what i'm saying <laughs> then we're going to put it in ice cold water to make it nice and solid and that's it okay once it's ready we're going to wrap it in saran wrap but i just dab it onto a paper towel to get off a bit of the water and if you wrap this well nicely and tightly trust me it will not get moldy for at least a month okay yes y'all so that is it we have our cheese it is done you can cut it up and serve it cold like this or you can melt it and also make some mozzarella sticks if you wish or you could grate it onto your pizza or any recipe that calls for grating. I do hope you are inspired to try this recipe. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're a new subscriber, welcome to my channel. This is Sweet Ajili. Thank you so much for subscribing. And to the sweet team, you all know I love you. Until I see you in my next video, stay safe. Keep loving each other and remember that the love of family is life's greatest blessing. Bye y'all.